Hi folks, Adrian here from Wargaming for Fun. Going to do an unboxing today and we're going to focus on the box set from the Malifaux 2nd edition of No Shelter Here. And the main character in this box is Pandora. And if I turn the box over, you can see there the um, actual computer generated simulation of what the models look like once they're put together. If you've seen the other ones we've previously done on the Malifaux sets, they are high quality models. Now, essentially you buy a crew and that crew is the basis of your force in the skirmish games that you play. Now, if I open this up, you've got the basic box. In the box comes protective foam, the bases that you need to play, all the cards, that you need to play with the relevant details and things like that you don't get instructions in these boxes what you do you get i'll put it on a close-up cam a tab like that with instructions and then it tells you where to go and all the instructions are there now i'm sure they've done that to reduce the costs you can print them off if you want but the models tend not to be that complicated they're fairly straightforward in how you go how you put them together but you do have that resource if you want them um it doesn't bother me it might bother you i don't think it would bother anybody enough uh, to put them off buying the box though so let's have a look at the sprue if i put it on that camera there you get one sprue with all the models in now that said one sprue it's actually four diff five different sprues attached in the middle by a linkage wire so i'll put those on close-up cam so you can see the detail level that's there there's Baby Cade. Now you can see from the size of my finger the kind of detail that you get on the models. You know, you've got Cade with a knife there and his nappy, uh, his teddy bear and his other arm. Next to that, you've got Candy. Now Candy is possibly one of the freakiest models you'll ever see. Um, the level of detail again. It's borderline what you can paint, folks. That's how detailed they are. Uh, you can see the back there and also the back of baby Cade. Then you've got Pandora herself. Again, a high level of detail. Front and back. And then we've got the creatures that come with them. I believe it's a mixture of poltergeists and sorrow. Yeah, there you can see poltergeists written on the thing. So that guy will become a poltergeist when he's all put together and then you've got i would imagine junior poltergeists who are the sorrow characters when you put them together okay there's the backs and there's the fronts i think if you hunt around on uh, ebay not on ebay sorry on the internet you'll probably find these for in the region of 25 pounds and you've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven models for twenty-five pounds. Now, if you were comparing that for like uh, models with that kind of detail, I think it's fair value. I do think it's fair value. Um, the cards. If I show you the cards, okay, we have on the cards: Candy, Baby Cade, Pandora, the Poltergeist. Three sorrows, and then you have your upgrades. Now, best behavior, cry for me, depression, food, food state, foodie state, no, food state. The box opens and voices. They're the ones that you can buy with the soul stones. Okay, I'll count up the soul stones now. So, Pandora comes to the cache of three soul stones, Baby Cade is seven. Uh, the poltergeist is five, sorrows are five each, and candy is nine uh, soul stones. So if we add all those up, there's 27, 27, 36 soul stones. So that's a fair number of crew you could. The battles we've been playing recently have been 35 soul stones, and you can have a good game for that. So this box set would probably keep you going for uh, a while if you're into the Neverborn. Neverborn being the indigenous people or the 
call them people are a bit loose. They are the stuff of nightmare folks that lives on Malifaux. They're the ones who uh, prey on humans. And they don't essentially want humans there because it's their world. Okay, folks, I'll put those together and then show you what they're like. Okay, folks, we, I've put together the no shelter here box. Again, it's a basic assembly. There's no fun has been used. It's just the glue and the model slightly cleaned up a bit. Um, so you get a true representation of what is in the box. I'm going to put each one of them on the spinning wheel now and give you opportunity to see. Catch you again soon.